Hello YouTube and welcome to another review and this time we have Italieri's World War II US Infantry um, War Games Approved. Um, now recently I did do another Italieri set which was American Infantry and that was um, basically an Esky mold that they'd obviously bought and uh, used, um, reboxed, etc. Now this set's not to be confused with that, this set is um, a brand new sort of set and uh, one Italieri has, has actually made themselves. Um, so that's part of the reason for the review, just so that there's no mix-up um, because of that. Um, I mean there's actually not much difference, you'd have to look closely at the box art to think oh have I actually bought that before? Um, just because there's nothing wrong with the box art itself, it's just because it can kind of merge into one another and you might not straight away notice as a difference. Um, but anyway, um, this is a completely different set to that and uh, it is a set worth reviewing. Now before I've mentioned on Italieri this War Games approved. Well, the contents of this box, I would actually say they are more war gaming figures. Um, they look like wargaming figures. Um, the figures in the box aren't necessarily doing a lot but um, they're well equipped um, and they've got um, certain items of equipment which a wargamer would actually certainly love um, and um, very slim thin bases which obviously they're quite good for making your own bases and putting maybe a unit of three on, on a base or whatever um, so these do look like they are war game pieces um, so that's what we're going to take a look at today now box art wise um, what you see you will actually get um, so everything there that you can see probably bar the man in the very back who's sniping up a hill um, all the others you'll actually get so um, it's not actually um, telling any lies, as I uh, like to say, it is actually pretty accurate to what you'll get. Um, flip the box around and you get a nice little colour code key. Um, not as in your face as some of the Airfix boxes or some of the others, but it does the job. Um, here we've got a tanker um, and he has, is actually in the box. Um, so I don't know why but he is there and he is in the box so maybe it's just them sort of saying they want you to buy some tanks and stuff with this set and you could utilize him as well so um, but he is a nice figure in himself these figures incidentally are highly detailed they are very very well detailed and the uniforms are bang on I've got no problem with this set um, there is um, probably one funny strange pose um, but we'll talk about that uh, when we see him uh, so actual size of figure and you got all your color codes here for your paint so obviously suggested colors are Italieri acrylic paint but there's no surprise there and here we go there's a nice little this is good like that so this is what you're gonna get and um, hope that's coming through all right but you'll get to see these but they are good figures and it does say 16 times 3 poses nothing else to say on that so without further ado let's have a look So I'm straight in here, this is the Browning Heavy Machine Gun. Um, now this chap, I've actually built one up so you can have a good sort of representation of that. Um, he comes with a guy with ammunition. Um, he does sit rather high up um, to, and, the, and the machine gun is very low to the ground but he sits quite high up and it does look a little bit exposed. Um, which is more or less why I just think these may be designed more to be a wargaming type piece where you know the actual activity of what he's actually doing isn't necessarily um, what you want it's just a visible looking heavy machine gun or something like that so 
that's why I just think it's not really relevant to this set how he actually poses um, but I could be wrong if I bring that up so you'll probably see he's missing a hand and he is the machine gunner the hand is part of that and you just plug that in it's quite easy to do um, that's part of the uh, tripod which does sit very low that is your guy with his ammunition canister and you can just see how well he actually looks there's extreme detail on these figures really is good and the tunic I mean the Esky set which I reviewed um, rather Talieri the other one the tunic was just a bit smart this one's exactly right uh, that's your mortar guy I've set him up as well and as you can see the detail is really really good and just look at that you can see every detail on his face it's really really good separate piece for the mortar stand now here we go with a guy with his M1 Garand another nice model and it's also got the nice um, strapping for the rifle which is really well done just look at that the face is absolutely perfect these figures instantly stand fairly tall I think they're about 25 26 millimeters so they are quite tall well, look at that here's a guy with the BAR Browning automatic rifle so you'll probably notice they're not actually doing masses these figures but they're so good you don't actually mind guy with a grease gun again highly detailed and he is actually doing some of these firing look at the trousers really really good here's a guy with an M1 carbine he's also got something around his front chest so probably when I flip him around we'll see what that is but again really really good quality here's the tanker very very good model of the tanker really impressed with that and they've just loaded him out with detail he's got his binoculars, he's got his revolver out, he's got his pouches nice little touch and the trousers are just brilliant here's our guy with the M1 Garand again he's just sort of trotting along but see that detail Um, so the only guy I'm sort of missing is the guy for the mortar. I'm not quite sure which piece would go with him. I guess he could. Here's another guy running with more ammunition. And again, excellent. Really good quality. Unmatched. and this is a really good figure as well this is a guy with the M1 um, bazooka the M1 American bazooka it's a really good model of one um, all the detail there I mean just look at that never mind the bazooka just his general equipment is really good the 
guess this guy could be used with the mortar maybe if he had a mortar round in him you might have to do a conversion again good detail he's got his M1 Garand Thompson guy and he looks like the officer he's got binoculars there he's got a lot of magazines going on there I think he must be a sort of Rambo type figure or something um, the barrel looks possibly maybe it just didn't finish off in the mould properly it looks a bit short there but again absolutely fantastic detail and here's our radio guy now he has got a little slight issue you see that leg sort of a bit wide and flat which is a shame but it's a really and again he's on the on the radio it's a really good model quite impressed with these flip them round for a back view not sure if that's an M1 carbine on his back or not I think it is and that's our mortar chap and again just look at that backpack and uh, that's pretty much what Eski did or Italieri did on that set of review previously um, it's very very good but obviously this set's just taken their glory a little bit nice good just bits of equipment on these just really really good there's our tanky great figure and here's our guy running with the ammo and if anyone probably should have had an M1 uh, carbine it probably should be him but he's got his big M1 Garand and I'm sure he'd be happy with that it's a good rifle another guy there he's got his M1 Garand well packed again and again this is our radio guy from the back that's the what I presume was the officer I think yeah so this is the back of the officer if you'll get into focus yep and this guy I guess we could use for the mortar but and there's our bazooka guy actually looks better from that angle really really good like I say none of them are doing masses in terms of fighting but I think if these are war game type figures that isn't necessarily uh, a factor now let's see if I can do this without everything going to hell and let's do the close up So that is, if you can see what I mean about the machine gun, so he's quite open and exposed. He is the mortar guy but his hand's just a little bit silly so I don't know if maybe he's holding on to the shoulder of another guy, we'll have to see, um, but certainly I think there's enough guys crouching um, to make him look quite good. So. I'm not too worried about this chap this will look like a good piece there's plenty of other guys um, crouching and things like that so it'll work well and we've got ammunition guys running about so they'll actually look quite effective uh, but this guy's probably the most exposed I don't think I'd feel very safe like that 
um, but like I say if these are war game pieces it wouldn't really affect much and when you're overlaying your, your battlefield or whatever you'll be able to tell straight away there's my machine gun guy um, but that's what it'll look like when it's assembled so um, now this set came in at about oof, let's pull out a bit this set came in at about nine pounds fifty which I wouldn't say is cheap however what you are getting is quite a good set there's no doubt about that and uh, I think anyone will be reasonably happy to own this set um, like I say £9.50 can you get ones for cheaper well yes you can it's a little bit cheeky I think Italieri ask for the same price I think for the um, the esky type mold as well um, but there's no doubt these guys surpass that now the frame I showed you obviously there's three identical frames with the same people in so you're gonna get three frames of the exact same frame I've shown you and uh, like I say that will come to about nine pounds fifty I don't know how much that is in any other currency um, but um, you know that should give you a reasonably good guide to work out but like I say don't mix these up with the other set that I reviewed previously these are completely different um, this is World War two US infantry and I think the other set is World War two American infantry um, but just beware um, so it's a very good set to have um, a really high quality um, and they've really pushed the boat out there so um, I think I'll give it a thumbs up um, very very good so if you're a war gamer I think this is exactly what they mean when they have this on the box this is a set for war gaming and uh, I've got no doubt about that so um, Thank you for watching again and I hope this review's made some sense and if you didn't know this kit existed you do now and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.